Hey, my friend, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use ping pong delays in your ambient guitar music. I'm going to walk you through on how I use it the most in my songs and even how you can use it as a songwriting booster when you're not inspired. So let's dive in. First of all, what is a ping pong delay? It's a delay type that's going to make it bounce from left to right, and that's going to give you a wide stereo spread. So you need to listen to this video with headphones on. If not, you're not going to get uh, the difference uh, if you listen with your phone speaker that is in mono. So it sounds like this. So if you have headphones on, it's pretty obvious that it's going from the left to the right one after another like this. So you need to have a stereo setup and a stereo delay pedal in order to have the ping pong effect. So if you're playing with real amps and you only have one amp, you need to get a second one and play through both at the same time so that it can bounce from the left to the right. So you simply take your stereo delay pedal, you take two cables out of the left and right output of the pedal and you go to the next pedal in your chain most of the times a reverb or you go straight to the amp and if you're using like a virtual amps or a multi effects platform or directly into your computer you got to make sure that your output is stereo so that you have a different output on the left and the right. Then it's not all delay pedals that have a ping pong mode, so you gotta make sure and go search in the manual before you buy that it has a ping pong mode. So for example, on my Strymon timeline right now, it's the pattern mode. If, if I go push the value button, I have many patterns, and the first pattern, pattern number one, is a typical ping pong delay that goes from left to right, and that's exactly what we wanted here. So the first way that you can use it is just to have a super dreamy and wide sound when you play with your clean tone. So I'm gonna add a reverb pedal to wash it down, but that's how it's going to sound if I play a few chords. <laughs> Wow, beautiful wide sound. So if you're interested, here are my settings right here. So like I said, inside the pedal, it's the pattern number one. Then the time is about like 450 milliseconds, um, two o'clock on the repeats, two o'clock on the mix. So it's like a really good dose of it. And the filter about in the middle, no grit. Uh, medium speed for the modulation and a lot of depth to get a lot of movement through the modulation right here. And that's going to give you a nice dreamy result. <laughs> Right, and on my reverb pedal, it's uh, the mix at about one o'clock and the depth or the feedback, whatever the knob is, at about noon or one o'clock too. So that's it for this setting, but the way I'm using ping pong delays the most is to widen my ambient guitar swells. I use it pretty much every single time. So I'm gonna use a setting that's pretty similar to it where I have the bounce on the left and the right. I'm gonna use a reverb to wash it down and then I'm gonna use my reverb pedal to ramp up the volume and to remove the attack of the guitar to get a pad-like sound. So with that setting, it's gonna sound like this. So 
super wide sound. I use this patch every single time when I play ambient swells. I think it sounds gorgeous. And I'm gonna compare, I prepared another patch beside it, which is just a typical digital delay that is not in ping pong mode. So my pedal is plugged in stereo. So it, there is going to be a stereo element to it. The modulation of the delay is gonna swirl from the left to the right, but it's not gonna go physically from the left to right like we have with ping pong. It's gonna be in the middle with a little swirl on the sides. And if I compare, it's gonna sound like this. Let's go back to the ping pong version. It sounds bigger and wider in part because we have two delays instead of one, right? Instead of one in the middle, we have two on each side, so it's gonna give you a fuller sound with more spread. So just for fun, I'm gonna make three uh, different versions. The first one is gonna be a mono delay, so in post, I'm gonna remove one of the amps. The second one is gonna be a stereo delay without the ping pong, and the third one is gonna be the stereo delay with the ping pong. So let's try that. I just love the spread that it's giving me. So I'm using it for a dreamy, clean tone. I'm using it to widen my ambient guitar swells and I'm using it as a songwriting booster. So what you can do is instead of having a ping pong that goes from left to right, some pedals can go even further like the Strymon Timeline and give you more kinds of rhythms to play with it. So in the pattern mode, if I go back inside it, I don't only have the first pattern, but I have different patterns. So here's pattern number two. Right, tick, 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 tick. That's a different kind of rhythm. Pattern number three. Pattern number four. Da da da, da 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 da, da da da. Pattern number four, et cetera, right? You have many patterns that you can use with rhythms. And then you can use that uh, to kind of dictate your songwriting session if you're not inspired, right? You're gonna play super staccato with heavy palm muting to really make the delay work and fill in the space. So don't play too much. Try just a few notes. If I remove the, the reverb, for now, and I play just one note like this and I remove the, the delay too, just so that you can hear. So heavy palm muting with staccato, like short notes. Like this, and then the, the delay is gonna fill in the rest. And you can play chords like this. Oh yeah. Let's add reverb. (laughs) 
<laughs> wow! So it's a, actually a really nice song idea. I should record that and keep it for later and really make a song out of that. So usually it really inspires me. And as you saw, I barely played anything. Just a one note and uh, forming a, a few chords and trying to use my ear to guide me and... Uh, form little patterns and little chords like these. So I'm gonna give you another example of a real song that I made where I did that. So it doesn't have to be the full song, it could be a part of a song or a layer of a song and then you complete on top of that. I think I was using the pattern number three on the Strymon timeline. So here's an example of a real song I posted a few years back. It's exactly the same principle right here. Little staccato notes, and I used that to lead my songwriting session, and it made a really, really cool song. So that's how I'm using the ping pong delay for a dreamy sound to widen the stereo spread of my ambient swells and to have a little songwriting booster with the rhythmic element of it. If you want to get into ambient guitar playing, but you're just getting started, go check out my free mini course, A Beginner guide to ambient guitar it's the first link in the description box below in that free course on my website I'm gonna walk you through what kind of effects you need to get and use how to make the best ambient guitar sounds and have a really great clean tone and how to start layering your tones together to make simple arrangements to write your own original ambient guitar music so it's all free it's the first link in the description box below it's my gift to you for watching my video Video until the end. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, au revoir. <laughs>